One of the two brothers accused of murdering their parents and three of their siblings in Broken Arrow appeared before a judge today. I'm Clay Loney. And I'm Shay Rossi. Michael Bever is charged with five counts of murder for the crime that happened inside their home in 2015. In a developing story, Fox 23's Tiffany Alanese was in the courtroom for us. She's reporting live with the new development in this case, Tiffany. Clay, today Michael Bever's attorney told the judge there is a possibility they may be requesting a sentencing hearing. That would indicate they may be considering a plea deal for Michael. He didn't just kill. He actually, I mean, this was, this was rage and anger. Julie Wallace remembers this day in July of 2015 like it was yesterday. Her neighbors, David and April Bever, and three of their children brutally murdered. The crime that he has committed is so horrendous, so horrific, and so devastating, especially to the two sisters, that I think he just needs to pay for that for the rest of his life. Today, the Bever home sits ready for demolition, and two of the Bever daughters are trying to continue their lives forever changed. Preschool and, 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 and high school, and those kind of things, so, um, from all sounds of it, they're, they're doing as well as can be expected. The older brother, Robert Bever, pleaded guilty in September and took a plea deal that spared his life. He's serving life without the possibility of parole. And families in the Bevers neighborhood say they're concerned even thinking about a plea deal for Michael. Fear. I think it's fearful for probably most of us in this neighborhood, the thought that he would ever be paroled. It's fearful. Michael, who was 16 at the time of the murders, isn't eligible for the death penalty under Oklahoma law. I don't think he deserves a second chance. He deserves a second chance at possibly forgiveness and um, a life, but a life within prison walls. Michael will be back in court next month. Covering this story today, I had a lot of people stop to ask me about the surviving Bever sisters. They are living together in the same foster placement. Reporting live in downtown Tulsa, covering news that matters. I'm Tiffany Alanese, Fox 23 News. There is some comfort in knowing that, Tiffany. Thank you. And we have more details for you. Work could begin this week to tear down the Bever's Broken Arrow home. This weekend, city officials announced they raised enough money to buy the Bever house to turn it into a memorial park. The city was able to raise $25,000, which was matched dollar for dollar by a donor.